What's up guys, this is Banana on the Boat, and this is Fishing with Banana. So where are we going, Danny? I have no idea. All I know is that we're gonna catch fish today. How excited are you? <laughs> Very excited. So excited. <laughs> I got my bonita fillet here. I'm gonna do a tuna tatar. And get here a nice loin. This is gonna be for sashimi, this is the top loin. We have another piece that also has a huge bloodline. I'm gonna trim this off. This is gonna be used for bait. Nothing goes to waste. Over here, just like that. This is also gonna be for bait. So we got two loins here. So we let the tuna sit in the freezer for about one hour, harden the, the actual meat so it's easier to chop up. The reason why I'm using the bottom loins for the tuna tatar is because it usually have a lot of veins on it and the veins, uh, it's not really good for sashimi. So I actually packaged them individually because I didn't want them to stick together. Um, so now I'm going to just take them out of the wrapping. gonna dice them up, slice them into as small of a piece as I could. Now that I have my tuna all diced up, now to make the sauce is really simple. I have here a tablespoon so you could just use this as reference. What I like to use is this chili garlic sauce. One tablespoon of this. Next is this yum yum sauce, the one that they usually use in Japanese steakhouse for the hibachis. So I like to put two tablespoons of this. The next thing is sesame oil. 
another tablespoon of sesame oil, about that much. And last, not least, you got the yuzu sauce. If you don't have yuzu sauce, you could just use lime. One tablespoon of this. And I'm gonna mix this up, and I'm gonna put it into the tuna. Just like that. I give this a good stir, and that's it. Very simple dish, tuna tatar. I love to use green onions. If you don't like green onions, you can leave it out. I'm just gonna toss this in, just like that. And also give it a good mix. Now you could eat this right away, or you could just leave it in the refrigerator and eat it within an hour. This banana on the boat, tuna tatar, bonita style. Remember I tell you nothing goes to waste? Right here we got the bonita tuna. Slice them in halves. We're going to grill these bonita tunas. So to make a basting sauce, I have the soy sauce right here. Two tablespoons. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. If you don't have rice vinegar, you could use white vinegar. One tablespoon of syrup. This is to get it that burn charred flavor. And then uh, half a tablespoon of uh, I can never pronounce uh, pronounce this right. Worcestershire sauce, and finally the homemade chili sauce. About one tablespoon. Of, uh, well, half a tablespoon. It's not that spicy. Right there. So mix this in, and this is going to be your basting sauce. So I got this brush, and I'm just gonna baste the the tuna head. Let's go to the grill, and I'm gonna put this on the grill. Does the fish taste fresh? Mm. Is it okay? Is it decent? Too spicy? Super fresh. Oh my gosh, no, amazing. I love the sauce that you put in it. All right, Jindia. So, this is supposedly trash fish that everybody talks about. I don't taste any fishiness whatsoever, and compared to the restaurants, what they call tuna, it doesn't even taste as fresh as this or even as good as this. Mm. So, they just don't know how to cook it. Oh my god, Chino, it's delicious! Mm -hmm. This is our famous Miami, South Florida trash fish. This I can buy at $2 a pound for bait. That's all they use it for, supposedly. I'm gonna put it onto uh, my, my little banana chip. <laughs> gonna get kind of a Latin here. And let's see. It's Asian fusion. It's so smooth oh my gosh this is really good it is so good joe i think that that banana on the boat really did it did it well true justice true yeah. justice awesome awesome Ooh. <laughs> so you don't think i was gonna go for round two because if i didn't like it well here's round two mm. so um, now they're going to try the charred grilled Fish. Okay, I'll be the first one trying. Look at how much meat there is. Mm. It's not fishy whatsoever to me, and it has that really good charcoal flavor. So oh. here's your trash fish, Bonito, once again, uh, right on the barbecue grill. I'm gonna dig in here uh, on the head. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get out some bones, but the whole purpose of this is just to taste the actual flavor of the fish. It just tastes like when you put tuna on a barbecue. Um, it really tastes really good. I, th I think Cynthia was right. It it doesn't need um, anything. This is yeah, the this way is perfect. It is, it's already so good. Oh, here's the cheek. So, that's banana on the boat. Bonita for you. We out! I can never pronounce, it, uh, pronounce this right. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> what is it, Danny? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. <laughs> I don't know why they make it so complicated, right? 
It's a king, gang. Oh, it's a king fish! Oh, yeah. Daddy, come here. 